when we observe on numbers of individuals truly meditating you will notice hardly 10% population meditates and out of this 10% some will do only either pranayama or just yogasana then some only just the meditation we need the integration of all these to look after our physical mental and spiritual well-being freedom from britishers and previously enslavement under this islamic as well as the moguls they all teach us a great lesson all of us are born resilient when we observe small children learning to walk they fall over again and again in fact they develop the physical skills of balance agility and coordination because of these falls not despite of them so called failure is a necessary stepping stone to success and that is true in any field we all learn through experience as small children we do this very naturally it is only once we develop the consciousness of failure as opposed to continuous improvement that we forget what it means to have a courageous and resilient approach to life as adults when we embark on a challenge we sometimes fear the obstacles we will surely face and maybe also the opinions of others most of all how what prevents us from achieving our goals is our fear fear of our own inadequacies it is a sad thing really given that we all have so much potential to succeed and thrive in fact we have more capacity than we can possibly imagine we just need to learn the methods to access it our heart is naturally resilient and simple heart based practices allow us to tune into the heart so that we can uncover our true potential harness the true potential the heart then becomes our guiding star or compass it takes the lead and guides us through difficult times and challenges my observations over the years of practice of meditation and remaining in tune with the heart is that it makes sensitive in understanding right from wrong once this discerning intelligence dawns we are able to make sound decisions when we observe on numbers of individuals truly meditating you will notice hardly 10% population meditates and out of this 10% some will do only either pranayama or just yogasana then some only just the meditation we need the integration of all this to look after our physical mental and spiritual well-being we need to combine both combine all the eight steps of patanjali yoga so the complete package is a must to achieve physical mental emotional and spiritual well-being and in modern times these yogic practices have been simplified and refined so as to fit in to our daily and very busy lifestyle 